Hi everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> uh, indie brand new to me, maybe even new to you. Wicked Sisters Cosmetics Invocation of the Spirit 15 color eyeshadow palette based off the movie The Craft. And also picked up a Wicked Sisters matte lipstick here. Yeah, that's right, right. In the shade Creeper. The shade did not match what was online, but I do like this type of shade obviously but I just unfortunately I don't like the formula it's way too dry the cat's playing with the lights <laughs> shut kuka it's a gorgeous shade but unless my lips are in perfect condition it kuka, it grabs and oh so unfortunately the lipstick was a fail on my half I mean I could I think I even tried putting it over a bomb like um, my Elizabeth Arden bomb to you know try to make it more moisturizing and it really didn't do it but this color does not look like the color that's on the screen what is this kitty cat doing Kuka. and that the light over and hit me in the head <laughs> okay um, just gotta let you ladies know in the center here is a pressed glitter, which I will not be swatching. <laughs> um, it's not their fault. They had this wrapped very well. It did have luckily the plastic sheeting inside. So this shade, it's called Rosary. The pressed glitter had poofed and kind of spread out onto the palette into, you know, of course, obviously these surrounding shades here. So I did have to do a little cleanup. It took me about 15 minutes, but even you can still see by, I don't know if the light will catch it, but there's still kind of glitter and it, it got a little messy to say the least, <laughs> just to let you know. But these are the shades here. And let's do some swatches. Okay, we have Dream Guy, Manon, and Witch Boots. These three right here. This first shade is very interesting. It's like a blue-gray. This blue went on a little lighter, but if I put down probably a white base or even I probably have blue base that kind of matches that shade, it would give it a little more oomph when I played with it. Uh, then we have Nancy, Revenge, and Witches. Nancy, so you know, I had used that in my crease. It did leave a little bit of um, staining because it's like a maroon red shade. And that was with, you know, eye primer. It was this shade here. Did a little pink staining, no big deal. Comes off the next day. I'm skipping that glitter. I'm not going anywhere near that. Uh, then we have Weirdo and Catholic School. I hate press glitters. Not a glitter fan. And I'm sure there's other swatches of it on their page or something, but you ain't getting me to do it. Then we have Snakes, Occult, and Goblet. Now I had mixed Goblet and Nancy probably together, so it was definitely one of those two that stained, but it was, you know, it left a pink stain regardless. And that happens with press pigments. That green's really pretty. And then the last three are Love Spell, Levitate, and Summon. It's a nice blue, too. She has all kinds of palettes on her site. Woman owned. We love that. Um, just so you know, when I was swatching one of them, I want to say when I was playing with Catholic School. Oh, do I have it over here? Probably not. I, it felt a little loose in the pan. No, I don't have my thing over here. I think, yeah, I think it's a fallout. It, okay. <laughs> It, they all have just a tiny, tiny little bit of glue underneath, so you know. And the pans were kind of covered, well, this pan was, was covered with product. 
so when the product goes to attach to the glue you know it'll grab a little bit so if they feel a little loose you can always just pot this in two seconds i mean i literally once i got my little very thin spatula that i used to, to pot I, as soon as i wiggled it it popped right out because that glue now has that eyeshadow on it so it's not adhering to the pan as much as possible these are not magnetic so you will need to put like the little magnetic sticker on the back if you do want to pot it but it popped right back in so no big deal but there you go yeah we love trying indie brands wicked sisters bummer on the lipstick i do love the shade you guys know i love a berry shade i just wish it was a little more emollient because this was just way too matte for me but i'll keep playing with it oh maybe a gloss over the top but i know i tried a bomb underneath because it was it felt like even it was sucking my lips dry and i'm like no because it is a pretty color but very unforgiving if your lips are not like in perfect shape all right there you go everyone have a fabulous day and i will see you all very soon support women-owned businesses we love that here 